Well, thank you, Charles, for that kind introduction. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all doing? Wonderful. Well, it's truly my honor, privilege, and esteemed pleasure to be here with all of you today. CLIA is such a great organization, and all of you have been inspired in your lives to choose a great career and to sell experiences. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what inspires me, and then when I'm done with that, I'm going to talk a little bit about where and how I got to where I am today. So I am thrilled to speak with you today, even more so when I learned that the topical theme of the discussion is inspiration. As the head of the world's most awarded luxury cruise line and the world's most luxurious travel and hospitality brand portfolio, I am fortunate to constantly be surrounded by inspiration. In fact, the entirety of my career has been built on inspiration. My personal inspiration first was traveling the world, and then it was traveling the world in the utmost luxury. It was founded by a trip that my aunt took to Japan when I was a little girl, but I'll tell you more about that a little later. From that time, my chief goal when pursuing career opportunities was to find a path that allowed me to explore the world. Later, when I had developed an appreciation for luxury goods and experiences, I amended my original goal with this caveat. Fast forward to today, and I am actually honored to be so much a part of leading this fabulous Crystal team. I will tell you that on many occasions, as a female CEO of a luxury cruise line, I'm honored and inspired to help other women break through, but I will tell you that it is still very much a man's world. But all it means is that we have to work a little harder if we are a female. My former chairman and my current chairman both told me they didn't choose me because I was a female, they chose me because they thought I was the best person for the job. And really, that's what it's all about. And so they were inspired to really just want to pick the best person and be gender neutral. And I think the world needs more of that today because sadly, even though we are in 2016, it is still a man's world. But ladies, it just means we have to work a little harder. So anyway, I, yes, I, I agree. <laughs> but it does significant, significantly really state that it is a shift in the right direction. So that's a very good thing. I am inspired daily by the confidence instilled in me to be part of Crystal's next chapter. Accordingly, it is a vital part of my job to not only lead our team and the company, but to inspire them on a daily basis. This is what we do. It is what you, as your client's most trusted travel advisors, do on a daily basis. The world is full of opportunities to inspire your clients to discover it. In the context of the travel industry, we are decidedly positioned in an aspirational portion of the market. Crystal has long been a brand to which luxury travelers aspire to experience. And we are creating what is arguably the, the most motivating collection of travel experiences in the world for those with such an ambition. The added layer of benefit for our travel partners, all of you, is that once Crystal guests have taken the step from aspiration to booking their first Crystal vacation through you guys and bringing that experience to, to fruition, they are more often than not inspired to return again and again. And for all of you, that is your annuity. It is the gift that keeps on giving. It's very important when you're selling travel and memories of a lifetime that you want to sell the brand experiences with confidence. And when you sell Crystal, all things Crystal, you are basically guaranteed that more than 50% of those bookings will be rebooked right on board or during their experience, and that is your annuity. It's the gift that keeps on giving because those commission checks just keep on coming right back to you. So many of you have likely found this to be true. It's not difficult to inspire luxury travelers to sail with Crystal once again. 
They've become a part of our family. It isn't just the number of breaths of crystal offerings that is expanding, but also our standard and definition of luxury itself. From the beginning of this professional path that allows me to travel the world in the utmost luxurious manner possible, I have learned and observed the evolution of what this term means to people. The fact is luxury means and always has meant something different to each and every one of us. I often say it's a term like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder. It means different things to different people. Simultaneously, the general perception of what it means as a whole continues to evolve. We didn't come by the recent developments in the new era of crystal by accident. We are continually inspired by our guests, their experiences, their wishes, their vivid, vivid imaginations for what they like and their personal and want their personal crystal experience to be. Blend that with the ever-flowing stream of ideas from Crystal's own team as we travel the world and discover what makes a luxury travel experience truly superlative. And you are faced with what we have today, six new river yachts in production, the first river vessel, the Crystal Mozart, coming this July 13th, a private jet, our Bombardier Global Express, with 13 seats for Crystal Luxury Air, a triple seven for Crystal Air Cruises, cruising in the sky, 28 to 30 day adventures around the world by private jet, delivered and curated in the most luxurious, inspirational manner, as only Crystal can and will do, plus a future that includes several firsts. A luxury expedition yacht that we launched last December, the first ever submarine as part of the under the sea experiences, and an exclusive class of new ocean-going vessels coming for the first time ever that will also include concurrently with regularly scheduled cruise departures, luxury residences at sea, which are certain to spark and spark again endless inspirational moments. What I see happening across the travel industry, but most significantly in the luxury sector, is the demand for customization. I've actually coined a three character acronym that I call ECO. It stands for exclusivity, customization, and options. And at all things crystal, these three components are the paramount foundation of everything we will do going forward. But it's not just because we thought it up by osmosis. It's a reality in an ever evolving want and desire and inspiration of a global luxury consumer to want these three components to create their memories of a lifetime. But the demand is for customization. The ability for travelers to create the dream vacation that specifically suits their wishes. This demand is born completely out of the concept of inspiration. There's no telling what will speak to you or your neighbor or your best friend for that matter. But when it comes to defining a dream vacation, it is truly an inspirational individual thing. What inspires us is so unique to each of us that it is imperative that we in the luxury travel business continue to meet guests whenever and wherever it is that they are, mentally, psychologically, etc. While choices and customization have always been a cornerstone of Crystal's approach to providing luxury travel experiences, our current expansion is inspired wholly by the as you wish concept. We're creating one of the most comprehensive travel portfolios in the world when it comes to a variety of experiences while maintaining one key singular philosophy that encompasses it entirely. Guests may follow their specific aspirations to Crystal for the glamour of a private jet, intimate yachting experience, a rugged expedition experience cruise, or even call the world's oceans their home on one of our crystal residences. But whatever their style, crystal style, will always be set firmly in unmatched luxury delivered with genuine 
personal service. So that's a little bit about Crystal. And when you think of all of these Crystal brand extension experiences, you as our partners, because I'm honored, humbled, and privileged to tell you that 96% of all of Crystal's bookings come through you, our travel partners, and nothing would delight me more than if 100% came from you guys. So I hope you're inspired to sell more because I always say, a travel agent is a lot like a real estate agent. A real estate agent will spend the same amount of time sp selling an $80,000 condo as they will an $8 million condo, but their income level is vastly different. So if you're inspired to make money as a travel consultant, you should want to sell a luxury brand experience to your clients because when you break it down to the lowest common denominator, price per person per day, they will be inspired to want to try Crystal because it's really quite reasonable at the end of the day. But most importantly, you will be making more of a commission. So I really hope that if you haven't sold Crystal, you do sell Crystal and you go forward in this genre. But let me go back to inspiration. So what inspired me? Many of you often ask me, Edie, how did you get here? How did you become you know, a CEO of the world's most luxurious now lifestyle and hospitality brand portfolio because we are no longer just Crystal Cruises. As fabulous as that was to just be Crystal Cruises, it's really game changing and evolving to a whole new world because today's global luxury consumer is evolving and thus these brand experiences have to evolve. And by the way, you're not selling a product. I really despise that word. A product is something you buy on the shelf in the grocery store. You are selling experiences and at Crystal we are selling experiences and those experiences when done right if you listen to your clients and you sell them on the right Crystal experience create memories of a lifetime but if you think about all of these brand extension experiences at Crystal you need to think of them as beautiful puzzle pieces and you as a seller of travel when you ask the right sets of questions and listen very effectively you can then customize and create a crystal experience with those puzzle pieces put together beautifully to create a picture that your clients will love. And because you've done it right, they will keep com coming back to you time and time again and bringing their loved ones. But back to inspiration, how did I get here? So when I was a little girl, I always loved to learn from a child, and I still love to learn. And I have a lot of little Edie-isms, these mini mantras, and one of them is grow till I go. No, not in the tushy, but mentally and emotionally. That was a joke, you were supposed to laugh. In any event, in the spirit of grow till you go, I constantly want to learn. And when I was little, it was no different. And when I was six years old, one of my aunts went to Japan on a vacation. And she brought me back the most beautiful porcelain Japanese doll. And I really fell in love with that doll. And it sort of was the genesis to give me a hunger to inspire me to learn about Japan and then learn about the whole world. As a six-year-old child, I was learning, oh my God, there's a whole world out there. And I set a very aspirational, inspirational goal for myself as that young six-year-old stubborn child that I was. And it was that I wanted to travel to every country in the world. And as I got older, that evolved in the most luxurious manner. So of course, how was I going to fund that? So my mother used to always tell me when I was a little girl, it doesn't matter that you're a girl, you can do anything your brothers can do, anything anybody can do. So having that confidence from a young age was very helpful. And then really it was about how and what do you want to do? Find your passion, get a great education and follow it. And my passion was always travel. So really I started my career as each and every one of you. 35 years ago as a travel consultant with really the goal to travel the world, to see every country in the most luxurious manner and this was how I was going to fund it. Because as you well know, we work in a great industry and there are fabulous benefits that allow you to do it. My younger sister is a lawyer and a banking executive and I always kid around with her and I say, what do you get, free checking? You know, it's really uh, quite a difference. It affords you, this industry, a different lifestyle. And so that was my inspiration, finding my passion, getting a great education and following it. And hence, 100, 100 countries plus later, there's still about 96 to go, so I do want to still see them all in the most luxurious manner. And uh, additionally, beyond that, 
it evolved to a career from a travel consultant to a travel agency manager and so on to a cruise industry executive and then now as the CEO of all things Crystal. But I have to tell you what inspired me then and what inspires me now is passion. I am so excited every day to get out of bed that I only sleep four hours a day because I can't wait for the day to start and embrace it and really deliver all things Crystal with our wonderful team. And what I would say to each of you is if you don't have that same passion, because I really believe I'm even more passionate today than I was 35 years ago following my inspiration, that you should really do a self-evaluation and say, what is going to inspire me? What is going to make me want to be the best travel consultant I can be to inspire your clients to dream big and you deliver those travel solutions to them? hopefully on all things crystal, but I won't hold it against you if you decide on something else. And uh, really, you'll earn great income, you'll continue to be part of this wonderful industry, and your clients will win, because you will put an inspiration in them to want to travel more when you sell them the right brand experience. So I hope that this has given you some inspiration to go out and sell more and really listen to your clients. What I would like to say on behalf of all of us at Crystal, and also as a board member of CLIA, as the leader of Crystal is a big thank you, a, a true sincere thank you to each and every one of you. When I say personally that I've walked in your shoes and know what it's like when you wake up at three in the morning, oh, did I do Mr. Smith's boarding pass or seats or et cetera, et cetera, check their visa requirements for the country they're going to. I remember those days well. They're not too dissimilar to these days. But I can tell you that we at Crystal couldn't do it without you. And I am sincere when I say nothing would delight me more than 100% of all things Crystal bookings to come from each and every one of you. So I just want to say a big, big thank you. And I hope that you are inspired to continue to be part of this great industry and inspire the younger generation to get on board with all of us because we all work in what, in my humble opinion is, is the most inspirational, fabulous industry to be a part of. So thank you all again. Have a crystal clear day. I've